you lot fucked it up! Predator 2. No wonder why I got this for a barn. So Predator 2 takes place right off when Predator left off. And for some reason, now it's set in LA. As in America. How did he get there? From the first Predator? Or Predators even? I don't fucking know. And I wouldn't even care. It stars this black guy that I don't really know of, who is in, um, what you call it, um, Lethal Le Weapon with Mel Gibson. And I honestly swear, with this whole film, it's just another Lethal Weapon movie. Like, a Lethal Weapon special. Like, Lethal Weapon 4.5 with Predator. Without Mel Gibson, of course. And... Uh, let's start off with the problems. Number one. The plot. The plot twists are terrible. The story... I'll give it that. At. It's okay. It's, it's never the best, but it was never intended to be the best. But, however, it was never intended... To be another lethal weapon. <sighs> Sorry, I just I just immediately watched watched the film today. I came out with so much disappointment that I'm really angry with this film. And the story keeps on adding you with new characters that you don't know of, and then about a couple of scenes later, they're gone. Boom. Like, like they ain't, ain't even there. And the, char the characters are fucked up, apart from the Predator, which... We'll get to him in a minute. I say in a minute. And the twist in this film, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but there is one twist in Predator 2 that led me into so much anger. This is why... <sighs> this is why I'm angry. Because of the plot twist, all right. The stupid plot twist that doesn't make any sense at all. Honestly, who would even get it? Would I even get it? Would you guys even get? It? I don't know. I'm just so upset that the first Predator film was pretty good. I give it a seven point one out of ten. I don't know, the scores will be there, on my left hand side. And then we get to Predator 2. Piece of shit. Almost. Now, enough of rambling on. The good things about Predator, that I haven't mentioned, that are bad. Well, the pre Predator in this film is a lot better than, than the first Predator. Like, you get to learn more about him in the second one, which didn't leave me into too much anger, and boy, <laughs> boy, it would have been easily like a 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, whatever. But the one thing that I still had hope for was the Predator was more interesting in the second one compared to the first one. Like, you get to know about him more compared to the first, like... I mean, you already knew that he looked... That his um, radar was um, infrared. Like, that's all the Predator sees. You get to see that in the first film, but you learn more than just he sees. Like, the character learns that he sees through um, infrared. But then you get to learn more about him like he doesn't have infrared just infrared even you can see through different visions like not nor then <laughs> sadly there's no normal vision so it it's so cool to see more of his gadgetry in the film compared to the first one in fact that's the only thing i'll give that the predator 
in the second one is better than the first. And and the ending of this whole crap that I've hold right here. It was like this into your face. And it doesn't make any sense at all. Like like I said, it's not spoiling it for you and I don't get get it why something I don't get the ending is what I'm trying to say here, but also another good thing about the film is that they actually had a little reference to Alien. I'm going to show the picture up on the right hand corner of the screen that they had a sneaky little reference to the Aliens franchise, which they add in like this sort of alien skeleton head, which I thought is quite cool. Don't get me wrong on that. But like it says, everything else falls apart pretty quickly. I mean, the acting... I say the acting's okay. I gave him that. Uh, there was a few couple of scenes I liked, but they were mainly had to do with the Predator. And soundtrack, terrible, like it says in the first one. Cinematography, okay, decent. Storyline, you fucked it up. The writers. Who hired you, writers? This is directly to the writers. Who hired you? Honestly, if you're the writer from the first one, Come on, you could do better than that. Honestly, take take him back to the jungle. That the jungle it feels more intense and that's another sad thing is that the thriller part of Predator has been taken out. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger's Predator. No, it just feels like another lethal weapon film. Now, I'm going to get straight to the ratings. I know I rambled on way too long. And from what I give Predator, honestly, thinking about it, I give it a 5.1 out of 10. Yes, a 5.1, which is roughly average. I mean, it's an okay film for sure. I mean, if you're looking for action, that's fine, but... If you're a Predator fan and still want to get into it, it'll tell you more about the Predator, I give you that. But honestly, if you want to look more into the Predator, the Predator as the character, go look him up online. It's it's better than um, watching through this. So like it if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter in the description below. And I'll see you guys when I want to see you guys. Like that, like that isn't there. I'm just so obsessed. Obsessed? I mean, what you call it? Heat. Was it Heat Radar? I think. I'm not, I'm not quite too sure. It's like, 